everyone, I'm Keen 47 aka Wolf Keen, and welcome to the final episode of my My Little Pony Vlogs for Season 2. Today is my Season 2 overview. So, Season 2 of My Little Pony, it's finally complete, and it's time for me to talk about my thoughts and feelings towards this season. Now, remember what I said about the first season. My problems with the first season is that while many of the episodes held up, some of them did feel dated for its time considering the later seasons. And not to mention that it felt like, you know, the first season felt more like a girl's show than it did anything else. This is not the case with this season. Season 2 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic definitely felt like they improved the idea and the, the format for it to be more open for a show that everybody can watch, not just little girls. And it does feel that way with some of the risks and storylines that they've tried. Like, of course, the addition of Discord. Discord is not a villain I would normally see in a girl's show, so that gives you the idea that this season definitely improved itself and decided to go for the idea of this being, you know, a show for a larger audience, not just little girls. Which, if you ask me, I think is a pretty good thing. Another thing that I liked in this season, which I had a problem with in the first season, my problem with the first season is that Twilight was shoehorned in every episode. Not the case with this season. This season, the friendship letter was opened up that every member of the main six could write letters to Celestia. Pretty much like she said it herself, which um, she says that she wants everybody to write a friendship letter, and when, and only when, they learn, their le they learn a lesson. So this opened up the possibilities for better episodes in many cases, because Twilight didn't need to be in the episodes. Hell, the first episode to not have Twilight was Sisterhood Social, and I'm glad Twilight was not in that episode, because... What would Twilight contribute in that episode? Okay, granted, maybe it would have improved the brother sub the brother idea in a Canterlot wedding, but I digress. The thing is, is that I'm glad that they got rid of the idea of shoehorning Twilight in every episode. Oh, don't get me wrong, when Twilight appeared in episodes, I was happy because she was put in the right way. Like in It's About Time, Lesson Zero, um Read It and Weep. Ponyville Confidential, like, she was put in the episodes in the right way, instead of just being shoehorned in every episode, like in Season 1. And not to mention, the Season 2 episodes held up really well. I still think this is one of the best seasons of the show, because many of the episode concepts has really good morals, like Sisterhood Social with the idea of siblings, that's a really good um, idea. Read It and Weep, the idea of trying, like, you know, don't knock something before you try it, really good moral. Mystery on the Friendship Express, a great episode just to have a little fun with. A Canterlot Wedding, yes it has its flaws, but it's still an enjoyable episode to watch overall. Season 2 had some of the best episodes of the entire franchise, if you ask my honest opinion. And honestly, if you ask me right now, I still think they hold up today. I still think it, they hold up really well today. However... Same way how there's a lot of good in Season 2, there is a bit of bad. Not too much, but there is quite a bit of bad. Um, one of the things that I did find a problem is that many of my favorite writers were writing pretty badly this season, if you ask me. Mainly Amy Keaton Rogers. Keaton. Keaton Rogers. Um, she wrote some of my favorite episodes in Season 1. Um, Fall Weather Friends, Best Night Ever, and other stuff like that. But here, she wrote some of those weakest episodes I've seen. A Friend Indeed, uh, Cutie Pox, and of course, well, okay, she wrote one good episode for me, that's Mr. and the Friendship Express. As a matter of fact, the one writer who stepped up this season and fell apart last season was Cindy Morrow. Cindy Morrow last season wrote my least favorite episode with uh, Showstoppers. This season, she's written some of my favorite episodes of the season, so expect to see a few Cindy Morrow episodes in my top five favorite category. And not to mention... Um, Best writer, M.A. Larson, really stepped up here. Okay, yes, he wrote one dud, which was Super Speedy Cider Squeeze 6000, but then again, every writer has that one dud that they write, and every writer, you know, not every writer's perfect. Like Toon Critic says, no one has a clean sweep. No one has a clean slate. If someone has a clean slate when it comes to, you know, like a, a clean like slate, no bad episodes throughout a season, a series, or otherwise, tell me about that person, because I want to hear it. But like I said, the writers this season, it just feels a little mixed at times. Like, some of my favorite writers wrote badly, and some of my least favorite writers wrote really well this season. But there's also one other problem I have with this season. Some of the episodes were inconsistent. I know that was a problem in season one, but 
This one, some of them felt a little inconsistent, especially the time frame between the episodes. Like, and don't even get me started on the Canterlot Wedding. Canterlot Wedding is one of the biggest uh, things where, like, where did Shining Armor and Cadence come from? There was no indication that they were actual characters. And not to mention, this season had quite a few bad episodes. Like, Super Speedy Slider Squeeze 6000 was a pretty bad episode. Dragon Quest was a pretty bad episode. Putting Your Hook Down was a pretty bad episode. Cutie Pox was pretty bad. Baby Cakes in My Eyes was pretty bad. I did the math. About half of this season is comprised of episodes I either hate or I find to me, eh. While the other half is filled with episodes I flipping love or I find to be good. So, that's the problem. It's like, yes, there's a lot of good episodes in this season, but there's just as many bad episodes this season as well. I know a lot of people try to say season... I mean, I am going to agree. Season 2 is better than Season 1. They improved on the structure. They improved on the story idea. The writers definitely got better. Some of my favorite ones did get a little worse, but they improve over time. The animation definitely got fixed up a little bit. And the structure of it all got fixed up because this is where the show finally opened up to a family audience and not just a show for little girls. So I am happy for Season 2 for doing all this. And I think Season 2 is, right now... My favorite season. Remember, I don't judge the later seasons until after I talk about them. So, just like last time, guys, I'm going to be rating this season on a scale of 1 to 5. And after talking about all 26 episodes of Season 2 and considering everything, Season 2 gets a 4 out of 5. So, yeah, guys, I'm giving Season 2 a 4 out of 5, a point higher than Season 1. Season 2 is right now my favorite season until I, until I get to the later seasons. And trust me, it has some of my favorite episodes of the entire show. And that's within reason. Every Brony considers Season 2 to be the best season of the entire franchise. And I'm willing to agree in many cases. Whilst others will say, you know, Season 4 is the best. But I'll get to that when I get to it. So guys, that's really all I have to say. Season 2 gets a 4 out of 5. I highly recommend you watching this season if you're a first-time Brony. Like, if you're a first-time watcher of the show, check out the Season 2 episodes. They are definitely worth it. At least check out a few Season 2 episodes, and then maybe go back and check out Season 1. If you're a non-brony, I would recommend doing that. If you are a brony, Season 2 is definitely up your alley. It's definitely a great season. It has some of the best episodes of the entire show. It gets my twin thumbs up. And not to mention, Season 2 spawned this little beauty right here, which I guess I owe a lot to Season 2 because of K-Cat. And because of it, I'm putting two coins in this time. So guys, that's my Season 2 overview. Next time will be my favorite and least favorite episodes of Season 2. So pay attention for that in the near future. So until next time, guys, I'm Keenan47, a.k.a. Wolf Keen, and I will see you all for my Season 3 vlogs. Till next time, guys, take care.